You may be familiar with the Acasis 401. This is the new Acasis 405. So this is the TBU 405 Pro. So the 405 does have that darker color, which I really like. This is an all metal case. And this is a Pro, so it has a fan to help keep that thing cool. Got a USB-C port, we got our switch, and we have our intake on both sides. Pull down to open. And this is nice, just has a couple of detents in there to press that in. And there is the internal, so we can see this is an M key, and they also slot it the correct way. So if you have one of those M.2s with a heatsink on it, that will work with this enclosure. And it comes with the cable. The cable is important because not all cables are capable of 40 gigabits per second, which is the main selling point of this enclosure. It does say 4 in it, so it's going to be capable of Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4. We got a couple of thermal pads and a couple of toolless mounts. All I'm going to do to install this is I'm going to take that slot, and I'm going to press that into mounting point. Push that into the holder. You can see it's kind of lifted up a little bit and then press that button down. And it looks like those thermal pads are actually different sizes. So if you have a slightly taller drive, you can use the 0.5 millimeter. If you have a shorter drive, you can use the one millimeter. You wanna make sure you're removing the covering and set that directly on the M.2. This laptop uses Thunderbolt 3 ports. The top speed for Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 are about the same, but the minimum speed for Thunderbolt 4 is gonna be a little bit faster. It is important to note that just because your computer has USB-C does not mean that it is Thunderbolt or USB 4. So before we do any real testing, I wanna turn the fan on. That's what this switch is on the side. That is actually very quiet. It pushes a small amount of air, but you're not gonna need a ton. But yeah, that's very, very quiet. Comparison to a lot of enclosures are usually like extremely loud. This thing is not bad at all. So first I'm gonna to go to disk management. And I will use GPT. So now this drive is initiated, I'm gonna right click on it, hit new simple volume. Next, 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 next. Okay, and there is the drive. And we can see if we go to this PC, we have a one terabyte drive. So let's do a crystal disk mark check. Okay, so for the best case scenario, at sequential one megabyte, eight process, one thread, we got 3057 on the read and 637 on the write. For the sequential one megabyte, one process, one thread, we got 2622 and 499. For the random 4K, at 32 process, one thread, we got 450 and 227. And for the worst case scenario, at random 4K, one process, one thread, we got 67 and 12. So I'm gonna try this with another drive. This is an SK Hynix. So it did pick that up right away. Okay, so the read speeds are pretty similar. It's within a margin of error. The write speed for the best case scenario is considerably better though. The effectiveness of this enclosure is going to vary depending on the drive that you put inside of it. Because I'm using Thunderbolt 3, you might even see a bigger difference if you're using USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4. But overall, that is a very nice enclosure. I am very happy with that.